Remember, even on easy questions, dumb summaries can make things even easier. So use them whenever you can. Here we have a, a very short passage. Uh, Shakti is walking near a riverbank that she visited frequently during her childhood. She crossed the woods she knew so well. The trees seemed to extend their branches like welcoming arms. See, this seems pretty positive. They greeted her as an old friend. Soon she reached the riverside. So what is the function of the underlying portion? Well, it seems positive. So it probably isn't going to be the case that it suggests that Shakti, Shakti feels uncomfortable near the river. That seems negative. B, it indicates that Shakti lost her sense of direction in the woods. That also seems bad. Now, C, it emphasizes Shakti's sense of belonging in the landscape. That seems pretty good. And D, it conveys Shakti's appreciation for her long-term friendships. That also seems good. So dumb summaries aren't always going to solve everything for us, but they can make a, a question a lot easier by just cutting through a lot of the noise and the, the choices that just make no sense. So now we can think a little bit more deeply. Is it about belonging in the landscape or is it about long-term friendships? Well, they're talking about trees. She's not friends with the trees. The trees are part of the landscape. The landscape is nature. So yeah, that's that's what we're talking about. This is definitely uh, a case where they're, I guess, I don't know, maybe trying to make you think there's some sort of deeper metaphor here. We really just don't have evidence of that, right? They're talking about trees, stick to the tree choice. Like that's basically what it is. And that's just a reminder too, for any sort of these literature, poetry kind of questions, uh, you know, we're not supposed to do too much interpreting. It should be the most transparent, surface level uh, interpretation of what you're reading. So don't overthink it. It's about treats.